what's up everyone welcome back to this channel so in this video i'm going to be um telling you how to install or how to um replace the o2 sensor and correct me if i'm wrong it's called the o2 sensor or the oxygen sensor no idea why they call it like that but yeah this is a honda accord um ex 2003 um and what else it's a four door and it's a vacuum cleaner sound okay but yeah it's still a good car okay step numero uno is um you have to remove the front seat but in a passenger side number two um disconnect the battery because you don't want to get electrocuted under your car number three you need to get this tool from autozone tell them to find a tool for the o2 sensor to replace it and they will give it for you and yeah and you need this thing too so as you can see we're lifting this carpet um you will see some things stick together and you have to disconnect you can see this cable right here you have to disconnect those two cables right there and then this the o2 sensor cable so you can see one here and the other one there and this how it looked like and like close up so you can see one cable here and the other one right here the big the bigger cable um this one is the o2 sensor cable you can see this little circle oval thing this is the o2 sensor we have to take it off under the car you can see um the o2 sensor so there's one edge right there where it's a muffler somewhere in the middle of this thing this is one tip right here and the other one is right there um, so we have to take this off and the other side and then yeah, um We just have to take it first and like from this side first and then we will be all good to go um, By putting the other one right here So this all that o2 sensor right here So the next uh, the next one is like um you have to take all this clip off. You can see uh, this one that we were struggling to take off. Uh, you need a knife, but um, you have to take this thing to um, lose everything. And then you can take everything out. So you can see we're um, taking this uh, protective uh, shield because we couldn't uh, fit that little tool to remove the O2 sensor, like from one tip. So depending how big it is, um, if it's very tiny like this car, you have to remove it. Not remove it like complete, but at least move this out of the way because it kind of um, disrupt the, the, what you call it, the mechanic engineer work. Now we finally put the tool inside. You can see this black word, the gloves right there. Um, we have to put it like this and then you get the other wrench and then you just unscrew it. It took like, about probably two seconds to unscrew this thing it's like very easy to unscrew like no wd-40 no nothing and try to get the other tip off uh, with a screwdriver after this you pull out the old one and put the new one in so here's the new one right here put it all the way down right here connected all uh this thing back together like it was and then you just use a wrench again and then you just connect all this thing in place and you'll be good to go you will just need to uh screw it more and then after this you just um tie it uh like very tight and then you'll just be good to go so as you can see the tool there's a tool right here just uh put it like tight so um so it doesn't fall off um it will be very easy to tie because it's like just two screw and then it's all tied and it won't it won't even move so um so make sure you put this little zip tie right here um you can find it in lowe's um probably dollar tree um in walmart um you can find it anywhere um those little zip tie right if this uh, tip it very long you can just cut it with a knife or a scissor and then you just uh, attach it to this uh, car and remember the shield thing in the back you just put the screw in like back and then um, just put it back in place and then you'll be good to go i think you use the screw um 
wrench i think size 10 like the battery uh, uh yeah it depends on the car probably um but you just put the zip ties and that's it after zipping this thing you just attach this um o2 sensor the tip of this thing um just make sure uh, it doesn't like uh, it's like very tight right there because you don't want water to come out right here um and here's a cord make sure it's this side like one cord is looking this side and the other one like that and then so you can see this thing it should pass in the car in the metal so um this thing should be inside this bottom part here is the final project the finished project right here um so it looks like this so um yeah we saved like hundreds of dollars probably not hundreds but we saved some money um so you just connect the cord and put this green thing back like put it back in place and then and then yeah you can see all those cable for the seat you have to connect to the seat and and no glue require uh to stick the carpet in you can see this um cable right here just connect to the seat and that's it after this put the screw back in in all four side so here is the old piece right here you can just throw it away or do whatever but just don't put it like near electric stuff because you might get electrocuted but yeah here it is connect the battery back again turn the car on now check in the dashboard if you can see the light if you can see the light try to drive like a few miles and then it will disappear so thanks for watching this video please subscribe turn the notification bell on and like this video if you have any question about this project or thing like that um please let me know in the comment and i will try to answer it but overall everything was fine it took like like for one person it will take like about 20 minutes and for two person it will probably take 15. so thanks for watching stay safe and goodbye